Hello everyone, welcome to Gloria Horn Sewing Studio. This is Tuesdays with Tiffany. Um, I'm Tiffany and I have PJ here with me um, and he'll be making sure you can see me and hear me, um, be able to purchase things. Um, but I'm glad you're here. This is a continuation of the Morgan bag. So this is, um, depending on how you're counting, probably week two. So today we're going to work on the lining. We're gonna do, um, get the zipper in today and kind of get some things done and then have some homework uh, for all of us. In fact, I was just finishing my homework right before PJ pushed the on button. So, um, you know, if you're falling a little behind, don't worry, so do I. Like our weeks get crazy and I understand. So, but to clear up a little business before we get started on all our fun, um, if you're new to our app or our website, uh, to Glory in general, uh, we are available uh, to shop or to watch on various platforms. So our app is the best place. So it's just Gloria Horn Sewing Studio. It's on the Apple Store. It's on the Google Play Store. Oh, I see a lot of you saying hello. Hello, everyone. Um, and um, so you can download that. That's the quickest way. So um, if you're wanting to shop, it's just an easy way to shop. And you can go back and watch the shows for up to a year. We're also on YouTube, but no purchasing there. Uh, we're on Facebook, another great place to do that. Um, and if you're new, just type in register and then um, you'll be able to put in your information and then you'll be able to shop on there as well. And again, Facebook is also a place you can go back and watch the shows for about a year. Oh, we've got someone from North Dakota. We have some friends out there. We're talking about maybe going there this summer. So I'll have to keep you in mind. Maybe I can say hi to you, Jean. Um, Sorry, I get distracted easily by comments. <laughs> I almost feel like PJ should take them away from me. I only get to read them after. But um, I just saw South Carolina. We have good friends there, too. Anyway, um, see, now I'm totally lost where I was. But anyway, so um, if, you're, if you're on Facebook, it's on there for a year. We have some lovely ladies who um, go through and keep track of that so you can actually sort it and find things. I believe we're on Instagram and Twitter and Twitch and um, maybe that's it. I don't know. Anything I missed? PJ knows all of them because he set them all up. I think that's, that's a, about it. I think he thinks I got them all. <laughs> so, um, all right. So that's, that's kind of the business side of it. Oh, um, shipping. So if you do purchase things from us, I believe it's still $8 to ship. And if you hit $75 within a 24 hour period, you get um, free shipping, which is wonderful. And so, um, so just kind of keep that in mind. We do have some things today and um, we're gonna talk about Bag Club. In fact, maybe because I brought it up, I'll just talk about it now. Um, Cause I'm really excited about it. I've been doing a little more research, putting some things together, making some samples. And um, so, I, I think it's gonna be really fantastic. So we've, we're gonna try and do it quarterly. And I think um, what it's gonna start off is the first set will be ready, um, what did I decide? At May 7th, I think, whatever that Tuesday is. I don't have a calendar in front of me and I had looked it up before the show, but of course I've forgotten now. But um, it'll be a book, so a new book, new techniques. So one of the things I wanna do is try and have some new techniques that have to do with current trends. And um, we're gonna talk about my trip to London because London is a very fashion forward from us, uh, which is re was really cool because some of the things I saw, I thought, really? Or wow, like that's really cool. There's, there's something in particular I loved. And I'm gonna show you some pictures on my phone. Hopefully PJ can show them to you. I tried to print them this morning, but my phone and Walgreens were not getting along. And um, so I couldn't get them printed. So I apologize. I probably should have done it more than um, two hours before I was coming into work, but that was my plan. Um, so in this, in the bag club is going to be, um, it's going to be a book with new techniques. It's going to be a pattern that has to do with on-trend um, pattern right now. And then there will also be a Tiffany bag. So you'll get an exclusive of mine as well. And in the bag club, you'll get it before anyone else. And so um, meaning if you join the bag club, 
you get all of these patterns. You will also get materials to make um, from the book, at least one bag from the book. You'll get the materials for the second pattern that's gonna be an on-trend pattern, and you'll get the materials for my bag. So you'll get all of that uh, and some goodies, of course, because this is our inaugural uh, bag club and I'm very excited about it. So we've been talking about some really significant items to put in there for you. Um, and then Steve, of course, gave me a special price uh, for people who sign up this, this week. So again, this is the plan is that we're going to pre-sell now, but then they will be ready to go uh, on that Tuesday, May 7th-ish. Um, and so if you're interested in it, feel free to do it. I know some of you don't like the idea of a mystery. And so... Um, that's fine if you want to wait. You won't be able to get the discount of signing up for Bag Club ahead of time, but it will be an option. It's just it won't be an option until probably mid to late May. And so um, it'll kind of depend on the interest we have. But I am, like I said, I'm really excited about it. I think you're going to love it. I think you're going to love the materials that I'm looking at. I haven't finalized them. I have a few to pick from, and I may even kind of look a little longer to see what else I can find. But um, I just think it'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> Sign me up and take my money. Uh, you know, it's, I, it's sorry, but yeah. Oh, the price. I don't know if PJ has it in there. The um, total value is going to be about $200, if not a little more. Um, where I'm at right now is very close to that. Steve said this week, we are going to, since we're promoting it and it's new for us, we're gonna sell it at 119.88, I think. Um, and so if, if you wanna get it this week, that's great. If you don't, I'm no pressure, I just, um, like I said, I was really excited. So I was like, can we do like a special, what can we do? And so that's what he said we could offer. So really excited about it. Um, and I'll tell you, as we get closer, I'll tell you a little bit, little bit more. Um, but for now, I'm trying to decide, do we want to do a little fun stuff? Well, not that making our bag isn't fun. It's very fun. Um, oh, Gloria's already got it in her cart. Thank you, Gloria. I'm, I'm excited to do it with you. So, um, all right, I'm going to show you, since I'm talking about that, and I'm, I was really inspired uh, by our trip to London. So I'm going to grab some stuff that I got in London and um, show them to you um, and show you pictures because I think that'll, I mean, hopefully it doesn't give you too many hints, but there's definitely some hints in my, in my pictures. Um, this stuff right all in here mm -hmm. is coming over. So if you wanna, yep, still more of that. The green bin sure. and um, the fabrics under and behind that, just that okay. sort of section. Thank mm -hmm. you. So PJ's helping me bring it all over because um, I had mentioned before, while I was in London, I got to go to what was called Stitch Festival, um, which was great because it was all kinds of handcrafts. It was uh, sewing and quilting. It was needlework, it was um, yarns, it was embroidery, um, just all kinds of fantastic stuff. So as PJ's coming over here, these are all the fabrics that I brought Goodness. home with me. Yep, that's, that's all of them that I brought today. Mm -hmm. I actually have a few more. It's a little embarrassing. I was trying not to seem like I was quite as bad as I was. But um, so while I was there, here's some gorgeous canvases. So I was able to go to Liberty of London. I went to the store, and um, which was great. I actually, I got this really cute fabric there. Outrageously expensive, I'm not gonna lie. So this was 30 pounds per meter, which is slightly larger than a yard to give you an idea. I think I get an extra four inches or something. Um, so these two fabrics here of London. So that equates to about $40 a yard, I think. Maybe not quite 38-ish. But just really fun, um, you know, token of being there. There we go. And so you can kind of see all that. And we did see the changing of the guards. So this is kind of fun. There's the London Eye, which was right by our hotel. Uh, the London Bridge, Big Ben. And then here's a street map of where we were. So just really a fun, fun thing. So um, that really doesn't have anything to do with what we're doing. I'm just, you know showing you stuff. Um, we did find they had some really cool canvases, which were really fun, these florals. Um, and then I'm doing a project. So part of when I went um, 
was I wanted to find a lot of small prints because I had this pattern in mind. And this pattern is actually gonna be available to you today. So if you wanna play along and pretend you were in London um, with me, this is what I'm gonna be making. And I've got two samples. So I'm gonna, let's see. Can, do I need to take that out or is it okay that way? Let's see. So this I is called Tea Party and it's a quilt kit, or excuse me, a quilt pattern, not a kit, just a pattern. And um, so I made some blocks using Kimberbell, but my intention is to use all of these beautiful Liberty of London. Actually, I don't know if they're all Liberty, but I got all these fat quarters at Stitch Festival. And so I just thought how fun I can make different teapots and tea kettles, uh, tea cups out of all these just really fun fabric. So I haven't have a lot because I'm a crazy person. Oh, put that out of your way so no it's not so. Um, Those are really cool. So I do take an empty duffel bag with me. Someone's saying um, in the bag kit. So the bag kit, if you're talking about bag club, is going to be the book, two extra patterns. So one regular pattern by, um, by a designer outside of myself and then one by me. It will also include all of the materials and hardware to make three bags. So my design, the, um, the full PDF, it won't be PDF, the full paper pattern, and then also one of the patterns from the book. And you can pick whichever pattern. So there's like 12 to 14 patterns in the book that I've chosen. And you'll be able, to, I'll give you enough material to make uh, pretty much anything in there. And so that's the, that's the bag club. So here is a sample block. Look how cute this is. So there's one of the teapots and here's a little cup to go along with it. And so um, I thought what a great table runner it would make or, um, you know, for me, I'm making a quilt, but it's really fun. And I thought, well, let's come up with some fabrics that you could have that are similar. And so we have, I called them London Vibe and we have one that's Kimberbell. And so again, PJ, I don't know if you need me to take those out. Mm, I don't think so. I can so, if no. you want. I don't know. So Let's we've see. got a Kimberbell one that's vintage floral. And what these are are six half yard cuts. Oh, you know, I'm gonna move this so it doesn't get confusing. I don't want to think that's gonna be included in there. Okay, so those, you can kind of see there's six of them and that's, I use this set for making my my blocks. And so, oops, my teacup went upside down. So, um, so there's that one, which I thought had kind of a very similar look and vibe to what the uh, Liberty fabrics were that I had gotten. And then, oh, this one's definitely stacked. We're gonna have to take it out. So, sorry for the crinkle noises. So that one is the vintage floral. And then this one, and some of these fabrics you've seen before, but I just wanted to put them together in a way that um, would be kind of fun for doing these projects. And I just thought these fabrics, look how gorgeous these roses would be as a tea kettle or as the tea cups. Like here's, these ones are a little bigger, so you get more design. So you could fussy cut one of the bouquets and the bird and put that onto your tea kettle. Oh, I don't know if they, there you go. And here's a blue one of that too. So this comes in two colorways. So we've got it in here. We'll cover up the vintage floor and put it over there. So look how gorgeous those flowers are. Um, so anyway, I just thought that would be fun in there. Another project, and this turned out better than I thought. So again, this is from this, pa this pattern, the Tea Party quilt pattern. But there's another pattern because I just, I was talking to Gloria and I'm like, I'm gonna do this for myself at home. And I told her this was the pattern I was using. And so she wanted to bring it in for you guys. But then we saw this one too, and I thought, oh, this is really cute. So this is a pickle pie design. So this is embroidery, it's in the hoop. Um, and what they did is a little tea holder, which I made one out of one of the fabrics I got. Um, and then they did this on a tea towel. I thought it would be really fun to turn it into a mug rug though. And I have to show you, this is my favorite part. This is open. So you can put, like if you're giving it as a gift, you could put a little bag of tea in there. Now my bag is a little bit on the big side, but look how sweet that is. I just love it. I'm so excited. So um, so anyway, this is, like I said, a pickle pie design. It comes with the tea cozy and it comes with the you're my cup of tea pattern with the little teacup that has an opening in it. When you open this up, it holds, I mean, however many you want to tuck in there. So I had done one on either side. So these are some 
these are some English teas. So these are these are tailors. Um, and so it just has those two little pockets on the side. Again, I tied in that Kimberbell fabric for doing as my my background on here and for my little sleeves for my tea in there. So anyway, if you want to if you want to do your own London set, it's all there's some of that stuff for you. Oh, I missed the uh, tea party quilt pattern in the bubble. Would oh, you, did you? Oh, sure. Let's put that back out. Mm -hmm. So here's the tea party quilt pattern. And either either pattern would look great with any of these florals that we had. And so um, to make sure my blocks don't get. So again, there's there's a block to give you an idea of the size of it. And so there's that. A little hard to see. So the cute. Kimberbell fabric, this one, I probably should have gone with more like a green background because it sort of looks like the, the little top is floating. But if you get a little closer, you can kind of see that it is a yeah. pink fabric in there. Well, the way we are in this. I darken the camera. Oh, there we bit. go. There so we now go. you can see a little better, probably. Yeah. And so. So cute. Yeah. All right. Okay. So there's that. All right, so I want to show you some other fun things. So some of this stuff I saw when we were there is um, in, currently in fashion is doing, yep. okay, um, is um, kind of taking multiple things and combining them. So doing um, like, like, for example, this. I found this fabric there, and I just thought this was the coolest thing. I am hoping to maybe find something similar here, but I haven't been able to as of yet. But it's kind of a, a denim chambray on top. And then on the back with just these little cuts in it. And on the back, they fused this plaid. And so it comes through and just looks really cool. Um, but then there's a lot of, in fact, you know what? Let's see if I have, if I saved a picture. Um, okay. Oh, I didn't save it in here. Um, well, here's one here. Big club. So I have all of these things saved in here for you guys. All these big clubs for different ideas. Well, I'm not finding it. But things like this I found at Anthropology yesterday. And it's, so what they did is they took essentially two shirts and cut them down the back and then stitched them back together. So this is really common where they're taking apart, apart different things and sewing them back together as patchwork. And so um, this was another one I saw there. A lot of denim this year. And so this one was kind of fun. It's, I don't know if you ever made candy wrapper bracelets and things, but that's kind of what this looks like. Um, but they pieced them all together and turned it into a bag. So that was fun. Um, oh, that's something I'm going to show you in a minute. So here's some of the bags. So there's a lot of texture. So this is like puffy with um, a really neat button there. And so um, so this is a $2,000 bag. Uh, it was 18.50 pounds, so kind of giving an estimate. Um, this is the Gucci bag of the moment. And I have seen so many pictures of various stars, uh, music stars, TV stars, whatever, um, using this bag. So it's this really cool Gucci with the um, these brackets on there. I think PJ's picture is showing better than my phone is. Um, and then this shape, this rounded shape, the crescent purse, is a big is a big fashion uh, statement right now. So here's another one like it. Um, burgundy and the reds are a nice popular color right now, um, as well as the neutrals. So here's another one to give you an idea. It has that zipper in the side. And so, Sticks a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Some of these bags too, strapping. Good. So seeing some strapping. Some places we saw they actually used construction work. Um, I don't know if you can hear or not. There's um, some people that just came in to pick up their machine. So if you hear a little background noise. Oh, I think PJ zoomed out. So I can't show you any more of the pictures for a second until he comes back over. But um, it does give you an idea. So like I've got a Louis Vuitton on here that's the round. So there's all kinds of just really cool shapes, uh, textures that are going on. And so um, I wanted to show you 
Uh, and then in the other, this shape, big bag, is also popular. So in this window, there actually happened to be um, two different ones. So there's this one here, this orange one. So it's got that crescent shape, but then these big bags that go narrow in the front and then flare out on the side. So that's really popular as well at the moment. And so, um, sorry, that's a picture of, I don't know that you want to see my pictures on vacation. All right. You just got busy all of a sudden. Yeah, it does that, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, I don't think, oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. All right, do you mind zooming in again? Sure, sure. So sure. I was talking about the patchwork. So this is a patchwork one here. You can kind of see how they did that in the corner. This is a sweatshirt that they took apart and put back together. And so um, here's one of my favorite bags I saw while we were there. Look how cool that is. So it's got that fringe um, and that, that handle's really cool. So um, just, and this was, uh, this was at, I think this was at Selfridges. It was either Selfridges or Harrods. I think Selfridges. Um, so and then, cool. and then look at this texture. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Right. PJ's over there going, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so these are some of the things that I saw. Here's another shape with that texture. Um, so just it, kind of like a train case style. So just really just fun. Another one of the burgundy colors. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. Oop. There it is. So, and back to that. Oh, that was that Louis Vuitton. There we go. This is one of those strap ones. And so this is made out of, this one's rubber, but um, they make it in various textiles. Um, crochet is big, knotting, yarn. Um, so really big. And this is, this is the spring summer line of what's popular and coming. And so, again, there's that big bag. The Hermes. All right. I think you saw those ones already. Oh, there's another Louis Vuitton. Oh, never mind. Louis, it's you okay. Seen? You've seen okay. enough of them, I'm sure. <laughs> All right. So um, that's kind of kind of my London trip. I don't know if there's anything else to show you on there. It was a lot of fun. If you ever go, I highly recommend going to Gatwick Street. That's where the, the uh, fabric stores were. Some of the fabrics I got... Um, and it's significantly less than the Liberty store. I kind of feel like maybe they fell off a truck and that's how these guys ended up with them. But, um, oh, and I'm going to have to go back and see because some of you are making comments about what you think it might be. So none of the patterns are exact what, what you just saw, but I'm definitely going to tie inspiration from them. So definitely if you have some ideas and suggestions or hopes, dreams, wishes, Put them in the comments because um, I can't read them all right now, but I would love to check them out later. And um, my pattern's not finalized, so I can definitely modify between now and um, when they go out in a few weeks. So, um, all right. So I'm going to move on to our next thing. Okay. So um, we'll do one more distracted item, and then we're going to work on our bag. And so I'll put that there for now. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I feel like I'm really overloading the uh, table today. What would so you like? I'm going to go with this right here. Go for it. And this goes with it too, as far as for what they can purchase. All right. So many of you know. So and I apologize because I feel like I'm just like here. I went on a trip, and here we're having a baby in our family. So, but there's reasons for it because I know, like with the London stuff, that you're into the the bags and you're into like the fabrics and everything. So I wanted to share that with you, especially because I was drawing inspiration from it. This, because we have worked with this material before, I wanted to show you some things. So Lauren is expecting in May. And so um, I, when I went down, I had made her a whole set like this. And she liked it, but I was like, but I went into her nursery and everything was, was this color right here. This cream and very, very, very light beige tan color. And so, so the lightest color you see on there uh, is what she had chosen for her room. So I went to the fabric store while I was there. Um, they, I think it's called Carrie Quilting Company. If you're ever in Raleigh area, it's a great little shop. But um, so anyway, I went there and I found some fabrics that I thought would kind of go with her room better. And she fell in love with these three fabrics. So the really light one, uh, the squiggly, and then the ladybugs, which surprised me because they're kind of a strong pattern and she tends to be a little more neutral. 
so I made this divided bag, which is really fantastic. She can put her um, like her diapers, all her supplies in there. The diapers fit in here perfectly. Um, and this is a noodle head pattern, and we do have it available for you if you like it. So it's got really nice handles. Like I said, it's divided. The size of it is uh, 11 inches wide, six inches uh, deep this way, and then 10 and a half inches tall, including the handles without its seven and three quarters. So again, 11 wide, six, uh, whoops, six deep and 10 and a half high with the handles. So that's that, that kind of shows you with the diaper and everything in there. Um, the other thing I made for her, you can see on the bottom, I used her fabrics that she chose so one side is the ladybugs. And you see it's a little shiny because I put on there the heat and bond, the iron on vinyl. And so, um, so I did it on both sides. So I've got, oops, it picked up a little bit. This is that plastic and the static. So you can kind of see there's her two different fabrics. It was folded up for a long time. So it's got a little bit of a crease in it, which is no big deal. It can be pressed back out just with an ironing, um, a protective ironing sheet. Uh, I don't know what to call it. I used the paper off of the backing of this and put it back on to repress it. So again, that's what that is. So that's, and we do, we have that available for you too, of course, in case you want to make some of your own. But the other thing I thought was really fun, and I just made this out of some, well, I did a couple other things. So I made these that I just call wet bags. And so I used her fabric again, attached the vinyl, and I did it for the lining fabric as well. So when you look inside, there's the little the little ladybugs, so cute. There they are. And um, so anyway, the inside is, is also, um, has the vinyl on it. So that way she can put the wet, yucky stuff in there. And um, so what I did then is I made a little holder for it all. And so um, oh, this you is- you wanna go overhead? We may want to. Mm -hmm. So Steve wanted me to tell, point out that on here, and again, she likes things very neutral. So um, I think it's okay that I tell people that the baby's name is going to be Sophia, uh, with an F. Um, but this is a border from the Solaris that was just included in it. So I put that around there. I, it's a little hard to see, I'm sorry. There you go. And it's got some really sweet little flowers in it. Um, and then of course I put her name in there. And I had a little snap that was a little, a little happy face flower. But then when we open it, so then it's got this, these pockets for her, another little zipper so she can put all of her supplies in there. Um, and then this fits right in there. And then this folds up to fit in there as well. So, um, so anyway, that's. These are awesome. Anyway, so that's kind of that. Now there's not patterns for all of this, but there are similar patterns. So if this is something you guys are interested in, the only one we kind of had here that I thought, um, well, one of the things I thought would be really fun is the clam up pattern um, using the vinyl on it, because then you could have all those little pouches and stuff that um, would be waterproof. But if you guys want me to, um, to come up with the final pattern for these things, just let me know and we can come up with that. But just wanted to show you, look how cute it all fits together. And so, all right, I think I'm done with my show and tell. Don't you guys just love that I use you to like <laughs> show you all my stuff? So, all right, I'm gonna put that in there. We'll put this away. So now we're ready to get back to our messenger bag. And so, all right. So the Morgan messenger bag, something kind of exciting. When I went to the shop, so last week I said, no more black, I can't, I can't fill it, I, we're out of the fabric, we can't get the fabric, um, I may have lied a little bit. So I'm just gonna tell you that up front. I thought I was telling the truth, but when I went back over to the shop, um, I found a little bit more of the fabric. So I have enough black for two kits. So Steve put it, in uh, as quantity two, I believe, PJ's double checking before it goes live and we accidentally sell 40 of them or something. But if you were kind of wishing you could have done it and, um, but you really wanted the black, then um, we have, like I said, enough material and I've, I've cut it. 
um, already, so it's ready to go. So we have two. And so, uh, again, this is the bag we're working on. It's the Morgan Messenger bag. This you have two black? I have two black, yeah. Okay. And so, um, so this is the Morgan Messenger bag. Um, this is the pattern. We have the patterns. Again, this was something we had waited for for a long time. That's part of why we had to hold off a bit. And, um, oh, Carla would like the pattern. Oh, good. Okay. I'll come up with a pattern. I'll see if I can find one already done. And if not, I will um, work on mine and get that ready for you guys. So maybe we can do a little kit, something similar to it. Because we have some really cute fabrics uh, that I think would look really nice with it. And so, all right. So again, Morgan, um, it has the zipper in the front. So we've got that zipper. We've got inside. We've got all the pockets in the tab and another zipper inside. And so, all right. So last week, or over the last couple of weeks, your homework had been to mark all the fabrics um, and get them cut out and then to apply all of the interfacing. And so um, we started to do it last week and realized very quickly that um, not having all of our supplies on hand in the studio, because we're in the uh, satellite studio, uh, which I think will become the main one, but um, I didn't have a walking foot over here. Today I brought it with me, although I don't think we're using it, but it's here. Um, but definitely use your walking foot. So you want your walking foot for sewing. Anytime you're using the faux leather, it just really helps move it along because it can be a little slippery and kind of kind of stick and act weird. So um, I have gone through, and um, I'm not gonna show you every piece or anything, but I've gone through and stitched all of mine. I used white thread, uh, just so as I was showing you different steps, it would be easier for you to see. So again, you wanna do a quarter inch seam. I have not trimmed mine yet. I think I mentioned I was finishing up some of mine as we came in, but you're gonna then cut back the extra of the foam. And so you wanna just go right up to that stitch line as much as you can without cutting the stitch. So. That's that part. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna work on getting our zipper in today. So I'm just gonna follow along with the pattern. Um, and then this week, your homework is going to be to continue on with the lining. And we'll talk about that as we get a little further into this. And so um, I do need to just check the time. I know we started a little late today. Um, all right, so if you're playing along with me, you're gonna want, um, your zipper pocket facing, which is M1. So M1 is a piece kind of like this. So it's gonna be long and thin. I'm gonna move this. Let's see, we'll put the bag over here, mm -hmm. kind of out of our way. Get this all over here. All right, so you need M1. And um, we're gonna draw a box on it that is three quarters of an inch from each long edge and one inch from each short end. All right, so we've got our ruler here. All right, not the not my favorite ruler, but again, we're in the studio, so sometimes we don't have all the exact ones. I should have brought my little Gloria one. It's a lot easier to work with. All right, so again, we're gonna go an inch from each end. So I'm just gonna mark right here, and I'm using a heat erase pen. It's on the back, so it doesn't really matter that much, but um, let's see. We're gonna go three quarters of an inch from the edge. So here we go, we got, I'm marking three quarters. And keep that inch mark. And we'll just flip this around. Go to the three quarter again. So essentially, you're going to have a, a one half inch by nine inch opening here. All right, and then I think we mark in the center as well. Yes. So then we're going to go into the center. You're going to go to about a quarter of an inch, if I remember right. Let's see. So you'll go to a quarter of an inch from there, and then you'll just make a little triangle. 
just like that. So this is just, we're going to put that, like I said, we're going to put that zipper in. And so the next thing we need, we need to take the lining from main panel C. So all my pieces are labeled, oops, my, oh no. Oh, what happened? Oh, my, uh, my clothespin fell apart. That's all right. So I know this is my C right here. So we're going to take one of our lining pieces. A question from Dean. Uh, when you say bozal, what is that? Do you have a sample that you could oh, show? Oh, bozal them? is the foam. So it's interfacing. It's the foam. Um, bozal is just one of the brands, Soft and Stable by um, Annie is another one. Pellon makes one. Um, so it's just, it's, it's a foam. It can be fusible or not. Sometimes it's fusible on a single-sided or sometimes it's double-sided. Um, I don't know if we have any over here or not. Um, I know in the other studio, we tend to keep it as one of our main supplies because we use it in a lot of projects. I use it a lot in the bags. Um, so it's nice to have a supply of it. Um, I think oh, he just kind of looking, he's shaking his head no, no at me. So I don't think we have any today. Um, we could certainly put it in the bubble to show you, but Bozal, soft and stable, it's all basically the same thing. Um, oh, okay, so you got soft and stable, perfect. It's the, it's the same product essentially. And mm -hmm. so um, different people like different ones to work with. Um, soft and stable typically is not fusible, um, but I do feel like it maybe um, has a little more density to it. Um, so they work a little different, but pretty much the same. All right, so this is my C now. And so on C, um, we want, all right, so we're gonna go two inches, it says, from the top. So I'm gonna just put this on here at the two inch mark. And I'm gonna center this on here, put it on where the, the line. All right, so there's two inches, so we're gonna go right here. I think I'm gonna put just a little bit of a mark on here. So if it moves, there we are. And then that's two inches in, and then I'm going in two inches from either side. And so I'm gonna just mark that. Give it a couple marks. Oh, you know what though? I think I was supposed to, uh, was it just to do that on the right side? Right sides facing. Yeah, we're good. That's what I thought, but I was like, oh no. Okay, so now we've got that marked. And so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to, we're going to stitch around the outside of the box. So we're just going to go all the way around this. And then what we'll be doing is we'll be cutting um, along here in order to then turn it to the inside so that it gives us a finished edge. So we're going to go over to the sewing machine and get that part done. So, um, let's see while I'm here, if I can find a little pin just to pin it on there. I see one. PJ's on his way over. So mm -hmm. while he's doing that, I'm just going to stick, I just have a straight pin that I'm going to put right in the middle of this just to kind of help hold it in place. So no big deal. Um, if you have a few of them, I just happen to only have one, I probably would have pinned it in a couple places, but one should be enough to just hold it in there. Um, I'll go ahead and grab my foot. Now for this, you don't necessarily need your walking foot. Because I knew we were working on zippers today, I have our narrow zipper foot, which I love. Um, so if you don't have a narrow zipper foot yet, um, I think PJ can put yeah. it in the bubble for you, but it's really yeah. nice. Um, you can kind of see on here, he just stepped away, so I was looking to see if you could see it's it on the there. Okay. But Here it's really nice because it's it's thinner, and so you can really get close to your zipper. So I highly recommend it if you don't already have one. And so um, it didn't. I don't think it came with with our zipper feet in any of the machines, but maybe check first before you purchase, just in case. But all right, so we're just going to use. I think we have the J foot on here. I just went with the color thread we had in here today. So we've got this really pretty shade of green, I believe. So 
So we're going to do a quick knot. Um, just so you know, I am using uh, stitch number three. It's kind of my go-to. I'm actually going to drop my stitch length down to a 2.0. Um, you could do 2.0 or 2.5. I just lately have thought the 2.0 has been working for me a little better for when I'm turning things to give it a cleaner look. Okay, let me take that pin out. It kind of did its job of holding it while I was getting over here. Right down that line, so just all four sides, all the way around. There we go. Oh, that didn't go up on me. All right. more side, just a short little bit. Not that. Okay. So there you can see my bright green line, although with the uh, marking being dark, it's hard to tell I use that bright green, but so that's there. So now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to cut down that line. So um, I'm going to just fold this in half. I'm not going to go very far with this, but I'm going to get it started by just folding it in half and then cutting on that line. So you can see right here on that fold, that's all I'm going to do. Just go in about a half inch or so, and then I'm going to finish cutting. And you want to get it nice and close, but definitely don't go through those threads. Just cutting on that triangle. All right. So we've been getting torrential downpours here in Pittsburgh area. I think they've been all around the country, but um, part of our construction is they removed the roof. So we're a little nervous because we're expecting some rain around midnight tonight. Oh no. And they put a very thin plastic tarp over it. It's a uh, 16 by 30 foot room. So <laughs> it's a rather large room. <laughs> so uh, I think we're going to be putting plastic all over the floor and towels and blankets so that if anything leaks, we uh, hopefully don't, it doesn't go down into our basement. All right, so we've done that. So we're going to then pull this to the other side. So I just want to make sure. Let's see. It says steam press the box stitches. Oh, so it wants us to steam press. Okay, I'm going to actually follow the instructions today. <laughs> Sometimes with you guys, I get to talking so much I don't. So I thought, you know what, let's actually let's try and do it this way. We'll see how long that lasts, me following directions. So I'm curious, how many of you follow the directions exact and how many of you just sort of use them as a general guideline? And so I'm a, probably more of a guideline kind of girl. All right, here we go. Oh, love the sound. Oh, that's great. Um, Oh my God, love the, love the sound. The yes. sound of the machine or sound I, of the I have a feeling that they can hear me well today. Oh. Okay. I have Good. a feeling I tend to be, from what I've heard, I tend to be kind of quiet. <laughs> so, um, PJ laughed at the idea of me being quiet. <laughs> My kids would laugh at it too. So, all right, there we go. Um, oh. oh, we blacked out for that. We're back. Okay. Oh, okay. We're good. We're Sorry, good. guys. It sounds like we, uh, something. We popped out for a half a second. Yeah. All right. So, we're going to flip these over. So we're just kind of pulling it through. And so you can kind of see if, I'm, if I do it from this side. The sound of the scissors cutting, I think. Oh, is that what, what you liked? <laughs> they are really nice scissors and they're new. Um, so I was thinking the same thing, that they cut really well. Mm. All right. 
So I'm gonna just sort of press this towards the center. I feel like that'll make it lay a little nicer when we get in there. So that's what I'm doing here. So just all along those little lines. And I'll do this. I'm going to just kind of finger press this as I go. It all has shape flex on it, so it's a little stiff, and that's okay. But as we do this, then we can go back and use the iron on it. Got a little tickle. All right, so I see. That's Chelsea on there. Oh, what did she say? Uh, oh. <laughs> we need to do a whole ASMR of sounds. Of on scissors. Scissors all and right. machines. Yeah. <laughs> So I know it's going to be going on at the horn house later today. Uh -huh. <laughs> They're going to be cutting things. <laughs> We're just going to be with using microphones and uh, recording sounds of. Well, those are the Kai scissors, right? I believe they are. Yeah. I believe they are. That's funny though. So we need Sound a pair of, of scissors. Kai scissors. I think we have a set. Every... I think we have a nice set of three scissors for mm -hmm. like, I don't know, thirty-five, forty dollars, something like that. Maybe we should put them in the um, sure. the bubble so that. <laughs> Anybody who wants to participate in this um, scissor cutting relaxation thing. I tried to book a spa for my husband and I, a spa treatment for, we're going Memorial Day weekend to visit Lauren and then the brand new baby. And um, the hotel we're staying at has a spa and we were so excited because when we went last time, we didn't see it and we ended up staying at what we call a soccer hotel. So they're perfectly fine. Uh, you get breakfast in the morning with the hordes of people, and there was a, there were I think three baseball teams staying at the hotel, um, so it's always a little noisy and chaotic. But um, so we found this really nice one, um, just a little bit further, and so I go to book our our spot. Uh oh, we uh, went dark. We went dark. What happened? I don't know. Hmm. Can you guys still hear me? Yeah, I think I can still hear. I'm trying to see. There's no comments coming up. What happened? No comments. Oh. Maybe no one's making a comment. Can someone make a comment well, if you can see. hear me? I think I have. Uh, I can test it with this other camera. I think we just lost our main camera. Somehow. Oh, okay. So how did that? There happen? we go. Are we back, Leo? We All right. Back. We just had a slight lapse. Sorry about that. All right. Let's see. Hmm. We're down. We're down. Okay. Our main camera is down. We can we can use this one over okay. here. No, yeah. I, there's still no comments, and I've asked for comments. Hmm. So, oh, another eclipse is what Chelsea said. Okay, so Chelsea's commenting. Yeah, we're still on. It's just I lost a, a one of our cameras. Okay, I see Susan on there now. Hi, Susan. Um, okay. Let me see if I can uh, adjust that. But All right, I'll, you I'll can leave, hear I'll us. leave this okay, one up at least. All right, so PJ's switching to, um, it's the phone camera, so it's probably not going to be as clear, but I still have the mic, so I think the sound will be good. But um, if for some reason you either can't hear me or see me very well, I'm like, okay, I gotta look this way now, but I always wanna read the comments. All right, so we've got this all turned, and then um, we're gonna add, we wanna go now, we're gonna set this one aside, so that one's all prepped, and so that's wonderful. And then now we're looking for, uh, let's see, M3. I had it all lined up, here we go. So we've got M3. And again, I have mine marked. You can kind of see. I can go over here. So M3, I've got mine on my clothespins. So that makes it easy for me. And um, we're going to add our zipper tape, which is another item we have for you. So the basting tape is really nice because you can sew through it. Um, and so it goes on, you sew through it, and it won't gum up your needles or your machine or anything. And so we're going to go ahead and use this. Um, this oh. is the Biani version. And so, let's see. I'm going to go ahead. And it says to put this um, on the bottom. Let's see. Add a line of double-sided basting tape to the upper edge on the right side of zip pocket bottom M3. Okay, so we're putting it up here on this edge. Go. Nice and neat. 
And here's a different pair of scissors. We'll see if you guys like this as well. Can you hear it? Put it nice and close. Uh -huh. Better not cut my hair, though. Um, although I probably could use a haircut. All right. There we Nothing go. Happened. So I can't read comments anymore, just so you guys know. Um, and the camera's off to the side. And um, so we're, we're working a little funky right now. But we're gonna, I'm going to try and keep working on this, get a little bit more done for us today. Um, I'm just going to try and get our zippers in. And mm. so, it's not um, all right, That's so we added longer. that to there. The, and then we need hmm. the shorter okay, so number we, five zipper. We, I do have some something that has happened. So OK, the, should the we just camera. stop? Well, and, yeah, we can we can cut it short if you feel like it, but we do have this camera. We can keep going. And I can Whatever. make sure we have a good like angle Like I said, for I can't you. read their comments, so I don't know if they're saying, "Gosh, let's wait." Or blame Steve is what is what uh, Dean uh -oh. says. You said no. we're blaming Steve for this one. All right. So in your kits, you should have gotten two zippers, um, and so um, one should at least one should be a double pull. Of course, I grabbed two that are single pull for myself, and so um, that's okay. That's we'll okay. We'll make it work. Yeah, we'll make it work. All right, so we've got this. We put that on there, place a shorter zip that matches the lining right side up on top, lining up raw edges and centers with the pull to the right. Okay, so we're going to take this off. All right, so I'm trying to get our... There it goes. So you want to take the paper off of your basting tape. And so um, if we can put basting tape in there for them too, in case they want to get more of mm -hmm. that for their supplies or just some of it. So my zipper is obviously longer than I need it, but I'm going to go ahead and um, I kind of like it being longer. It makes it easier to work with. So again, we're doing right side up and it wanted zipper pull to the right. And so. The nice thing sometimes too about having it longer is you don't have to fight with that zipper pull. Um, you can actually just sew and it, it's out of your way. And so, um, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stitch uh, using a scant quarter inch seam allowance. And so, let's see. So we'll do that real quick. All right, we're going Is that okay to go over, over to the machine? Yeah, yeah. sure. All right, let's go. All right, thank you. Uh huh. Okay, let's see. All right. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to change out our foot, and we're going to use that narrow zipper foot, which is so fantastic. And so you can see how narrow that is, so it's really easy to be able to just put it right down on here. going to move our um, stitch over though, or our, um, needle over, because we don't want to hit that. And so we're going to move it to the left. And actually, we could have gone with, um, if we'd gone with stitch two, I think that goes exact. I'm going to just use the, yeah, OK. So I'm going to sort of line this up. I'm looking at my quarter inch here, so I know my foot. I'm lining it up. I'm giving just a couple threads of the zipper over to the other side. And start back this way a little bit more. There we go. Now, I would recommend using a thread that matches your zipper, because that helps blend it in. So if your stitches aren't exact, um, it'll blend in and it won't be noticeable. I'm using a bright green, so it's probably going to be pretty obvious um, that my stitches they wiggle a little bit when I'm putting a zipper in. They're fairly straight, but uh, not perfect. So I'm just going all the way across here. And see how close how far I am. I'm all the way up next to that and I still have room because I have that narrow zipper foot. It's so nice. I didn't have to go that far, but I wanted just to show you how nice it is. You can see in that stitch how close I am to that zipper head and it was no problem. I didn't, it didn't hit it at all. And so just really nice. All right. So we're going to go back over to the cutting table. Right. I should have brought more over with me so we didn't have to go back and forth so much. I think we're, we're back on the main Are we back? Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm sideways. 
Are you sideways? I am. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually not. Uh... Here to tilt your devices, I guess. Which maybe this. Nope, nope, we're back. Hello, guys. Um, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, technology. I don't, you know what? Steve's in the other room. I could ask him. Steve, can you hear me? The narrow zipper foot, did it come with the Solaris? Solaris Focus? Yeah. Did it so come Steve's going to look it up because I don't I don't know if the narrow one did. I feel like it did not. But um, did not. and so PJ's saying he thinks it did not as well. And yeah. so. Um, all right. So that's something that you'll want to pick up. I, I want to say it's it's under 20, I think. Watch narrow it. zipper foot. Let's see. 1395. Yeah. 1395. That's a deal. It, I'm, I, that is one of those tools that I really um, it's it's a game changer. It's it's really nice. So if you don't. If you don't already have it, I do highly recommend it. Um, I try not to like highly, highly recommend uh, too many items, but there are certain ones that um, make your life easier, and it is one of those. And so, I know a lot of people are nervous about zippers, and it's one of those ones that makes those zippers uh, nice and easy. All right, so let's see. Fold the zipper over to the wrong side of the fabric and press into place. You guys should be so proud of me. I'm totally following directions today. I'm reading as we go. All right, so here we go. We're going to press this in that direction. Like so. All right. Beautiful. Okay, so we've done that. Uh, da da da. Da da da. This two line on the image indicate the same shown as above. Okay. This is the hard part, though. I'm reading, and instead of doing, I, I'm more of an active, active doer. So um, we're not top stitching. All right, add a line of double-sided tape again. Where did I put it? Where did right you put here. There it is. <laughs> All right, uh, to the right side of the upper edge of the zip pocket top, M2. So thank goodness I marked all this stuff. So here's M2. So now it looks like we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to put, this is going to be our M3. We don't want to get confused. Let's put that back on. Keep M2 on here for a second. And we'll put this on the top edge. All right. So let's just get it right up there along the edge. I can get that paper off of there again. That one doesn't want to come up. Let's try this one. There it is. All right. Okay. And so then doing it, it says to turn it this way. Those are harder. Oh, I think we're supposed to put this on there. Okay. But I think it goes like this. All right. And so with the zipper pocket top M2, that's this one. Showing it up. Right side down. Match. Right. It's saying this should be right. Okay, yeah, it's right side up. Okay, so right side up. The zipper should be right side up with the zipper pull to the right, and then this is all together. All right. My goodness, reading instructions is challenging. <laughs> All right, this is probably why I design my own patterns, because yeah. then I can do anything I want. Right. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to go and stitch this one, and, um, and then we're going to come back. So, all, right. all right, thanks for your patience, guys. Here we go. 
All right, again, this is where we love this little zipper, zipper foot, because we can go right up here next to our zipper head. Do a quick little knot. And off we go. I think Steve wanted to do something with us today, but I can't remember what. Oh, he's going to play with the serger. See, the zipper head is up, uh, and we've stitched on both sides. Double check over here. Yep, everything is included. All right, so we're going to go back over to the table. Right. Oh, Steve snuck in while I was gone. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I don't mind sharing. <laughs> I think he's prepping the serger for us, or for you guys. All right, so. Um, let's see, so we're going to press both fabrics away from the zipper so that the zipper lays flat. Okay, so the one was done already, now we'll do the other. All right, just a quick little press, now we'll give it a nice... All right. Okay. M1. So now we're going to put this one aside. I remember this was M1 here. I'm going to actually press this again from this side to get it nice and flat because we're going to add our zipper to this. So this will be nice. We'll have all of our zippers in today. Um, So now we're going to add this on the top and the bottom, right up next to this stitch, or the seam. All right, it might be hard for you to see just because it's the flap is up; it's not laying as nicely as I would like. So, kind of, you can kind of see I'm putting it right along here, and then I'm going to do it again along that side. So this was that first piece that we had put in that, uh, it's on piece C, which is the, the flap, I believe. All right, so we've done that. Okay. Let me take this off. I'm just kind of folding this back to see if I can get that to come off of there. Oh. Other side. Okay, so then we're going to be putting that zipper in there. We've got our other zipper. So again, these we're working on our lining right now. So these will be our lining zippers. So it's not all of the zippers of the bag, but it will be the ones for the liner. And so let's see. I'll just keep that on there, and then we'll bring the zipper head back after we put it on. I'm trying to kind of line that up just right. I'm going to turn this over and see how we did. Pretty good, but I think we need a little adjustment. So I'm trying just to get it centered on there. And this tape is really nice because you can, you can move it a little bit and it'll hold it in place. So there we go. So you kind of see it's nice and centered on there. And then um, I have my zipper head out here, but I'm going to go ahead and pull that in. Now that we've all right.
because it's open, it wants to be a little wider there. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna give it just a quick press to make everything sort of stay in place really well. All right. And then, um, so yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to stitch all the way around that. Right, is that what it wants us to do? The I goofed, hmm. but that's okay. It's not a big goof. So we're going to pull this out, and I think what it wants is this on there. So we did all that work for this. So this is our interior pocket. I should have known that when I was doing it. <laughs> it makes sense. I just wasn't. Uh... All right. So we got the zipper facing up. So I'm gonna kind of pull this down on here. Ooh, it's very sticky, which is great. Then I'm gonna just tuck this right on here. I'm gonna center it. Okay, so now we're going to press that one more time because we've kind of played with it a bit and I want to make sure that um, it really does stick because now we're, it may have lost a little bit of its stickiness because of what I was doing. All right, that makes more sense because now when we open this up, we'll have a beautiful pocket in there. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to stitch around the outside of this. Um, and then let's see, let's kind of pull that away. Um, I'm going to take the pattern with us because we might do the next step over there instead of making PJ move back and forth twice. So let's go stitch around this. That'll be our next step. We've got our lovely sounding scissors over there, so I won't take those ones. And now again, I highly recommend you use thread that matches and not whatever happens to be at the machine. But that's what I have, so that's what we're going with. All right, so I still have my zipper foot on here. And so I'm gonna start right here. We just want a nice narrow stitch. So we wanna go about an eighth of an inch away. I have it on a two and a half length, uh, two and a half millimeter. I think that's a nice a nice length. You could go a little longer if you like that look, or a little tighter. Um, some of it can be a little decorative. I wouldn't change it too much from there, but we're getting close to that zipper head. I'm curious if we're going to be able to make it without moving the zipper head. And look at that! Oh, love that. Makes it so much easier. There we go. So I'm going across this way. The only thing we need to do is make sure it doesn't cross into our stitch line, but otherwise we don't have to stress about it. This little zipper foot works beautifully. See, we went right along there. We're able to open it up. It's perfect. It's gorgeous. All right, so our next step is I think we're probably sewing closed the pocket, at least part way. And so on the wrong side of the lining panel, C. So we're going to turn it this way. All right. So we're going to 
trim our excess zipper tapes. We'll do that now. So we've got a little extra on here. Oh. And we're just going to trim that extra off right there. Just put that back there for now. And then on this side, same thing. We've got the extra here, so we're just going to remove that. All right. I'll give you some, a little <laughs> zipper sound for your listening pleasure. All right. Now, let's see. Like I said, I think we're probably sewing around this side. Stitch up both sides, uh, side edges of the zip pocket without catching the lining, leaving the bottom edge open. All right. So perfect. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to match this up. So I like to just fold that back. So that's our, um, our lining there. And then this is all our pocket. So I just fold it back so I'm not going to catch it. I'm actually going to probably change our foot. So we'll go back to just a regular foot. All right, so we're back to the J foot. And I'm just going to go back to our our number three down the center. It's just a little easier for me doing basically a quarter inch if I do that. And so um, you really want to make sure that's completely out of the way. And I'm just using the side of the foot slightly over a quarter inch when I do that. So we're going to just go down here. Oh, sorry, I think I'm vibrating PJ's iPad I'm a little too fast. And we're just going to come in just a little bit because we want to leave a nice big opening for turning later. So. Okay, we're going to do the same over here. So we're just going to start down here. Actually, I think I'll start up here. Just so I know I've got it. So this time we're just going to do it from the opposite side. So I'm just doing the side of that pocket into the end, and we're just going to turn and go in just a just a little bit. You could back stitch or not. So now we have the lining pocket. It's in. It's beautiful. Could use a quick press just to make it lay down a little bit flatter, but looks really nice. So we've finished that one. Um, trying to see what time it is. Let's see. No, my left, my phone is over there. It's uh, two fifteen. So it's two fifteen. So let's see what it wants to do next, and we'll see if we have time to do that. Um, doing cargo pockets. Well, let's see. You guys want to do some cargo pockets? We can do that. Let's do that. Do you think we have time or with Steve doing surge or should we let's see stop? If, let's, let's see if Steve okay, wants to Okay, let's have Steve do that. And if we surgery. run out of time, we run out of time. And mm -hmm. if not, we'll do cargo pockets. So. Yeah. All right. We can be flexible. And I will press this real quick. So that way this is all ready. So Steve is joining us. Here I am. Here Hi is. everyone. <laughs> is there a rotary cutter over here? Oh, there, there is. is. I'm gonna steal one of those. There's not a um, cutting mat, but That's there's, okay. there's, oh, one, there's one over there. I'm just going to cut this up. You want the little one? This over is here? good right here. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to steal the little for one second. So, are we ready for me or not yet? Yes, if you want to join, okay. we, um, we're at a good stopping point. Okay. So I kind of okay. said, well, We'll switch to you, and if you, um... oh, oh my gosh, you guys, wait till you see these fabrics. They just came in, like, literally when I came in the door, and I am absolutely in love with them. I debated on saving them for our bag club, but I didn't think they matched our theme, um, but 
look at this first one. So this kind of go, this isn't the first one that I fell in love with, but it's really fun. So it's kind of like cheater, it's patched work. It, they're all sewn together, all these different pieces. But look how great this is. Um, so you get all these different prints all stitched together. You can see the stitching in there. You look at the back, it's um, surged together, which, you know, ties into Steve's going to be playing with the serger here in a minute, uh, which is a great idea. If you've got scrap fabrics, just to serge them together and create a whole new piece of fabric. Um, so anyway, this is a new fabric. It is definitely on trend right now. Um, repurposing, using patchwork, um, kind of going, what we almost consider vintage is now the current uh, popular thing. And so this would just make such cute things. Like it could be the tote bags and stuff, but I could see it as like fun summer dresses and skirts. And so this is kind of a lightweight, um, not super lightweight, it's, it's a cotton. So it's a nice cotton. So it's, you can kind of see that how I kind of is moving around as I, I do that. So um, just really, really cute. So uh, I could see this being used for a lot of different things. You could really cheat and just do a picnic blanket and essentially back it and you're done. Um, Cause I mean, it just, it's already patched together. So you could just put some fun quilting on it and you've got a quilt. So, oh, hi Ruthann just looked up um, <laughs> I, <laughs> someone says I really care about their mental health I think because I was doing the scissors so <laughs> um, but anyway so there's um, there's a cute sundress yes Ruthann I agree and it comes in two colors so um, the red is super fun but then there's also the black and gray and white and so uh, if you're not feeling super bright look how fun this is mm -hmm. So very cute, kind of like a, a lightweight chambray shirting materials is what it is. Again, you can see the serger on the back uh, or serging on the back. Yeah, so that's how they put it together. And so just really fun and cute. And so, um, yeah, really like it. But it this fabric line also came with canvases and these canvases are so darn adorable. I'm just gonna leave these here, I guess. Let me move my phone out of the way. I think this one's mine. Yes, it has a picture of a dog that looks familiar to me. So, wait till you see this. Look at this one. This is my favorite. We just started with the favorite. But these gorgeous roses, the black leaves. So everything in this collection is the like cream black red. Um, and I mean, this is just beautiful. Um, and so it is a printed, so you can see on the back, um, it's plain. Um, you can also see it's sort of a loose weave. It's, it's like thicker, it's thicker um, threads in there. And so just really a fantastic print. I love this one so much. And then to go with it, polka dots. How could you ever go wrong with polka dots? Love polka dots. So here's the, oop black with kind of off-white polka dots and then here is the red one so maybe I'll put it underneath here is that better for you PJ or there we go oh all right so look at all those fabrics there we go oh I love them yeah so anyway really great fabrics really nice um, like thickness to them. They're nice and thick. Um, so you can kind of see how firm they are. Like when I kind of wiggle them around and stuff, they're, they really are like holding their shape. And so I haven't worked with them yet, but really nice. And so um, anyway, like I said, they had just arrived. I was so excited. I texted Steve and Gloria. I'm like, oh, please, can I show them? So um, of course they said yes. So there you go. But, um, so these are really nice, really, really nice. So that was. Okay. So Steve stepped away. So I'm not sure if we're going to go ahead and do our pockets or if he's he's coming back. I can uh, I can show what I was going to show. Okay. Sure. We can, I can get out of his way. I've like kind of piled over here. It's, uh, I'm like, I'm not sure where to go. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of the way, but. Oh, I forgot a couple things if we want to show them while he preps. Yeah. You want to show him these things while he's prepping? Sure. I know, you just moved, didn't you? <laughs> so, um, 
because I'm ready. Because I was, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yep. That's okay. okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Yep. <laughs> I was so. trying to fill time while you got ready. So, um, it is National Surgery Month. Did you all know that? April is National Surgery Month. So, I thought every day, every day, I'm going to show you something on the Triumph Surger because uh, we like it that much. But I, one of my favorite stitches on this machine is, uh, well, the wave stitch that we did yesterday. And I pulled those samples out. Here's one with the Christmas tree. And then I have this pink ones over there. Yeah. Oh, I'm dropping everything. Oops. <laughs> so this is the wave stitch. And I have uh, some pink samples that we did yesterday uh, to show you guys too. Um, but my another stitch I really like is the two thread lat lock wide. This is a really neat stitch. This is for like seaming together um, athletic wear on, on a, like a side seam for a pair of pants or maybe the side seam for like a, a bathing suit or something. But uh, two thread flat lock wide. I'm gonna show you how to set up for this stitch and we're gonna see what it looks like. So when I'm working with the machine and I wanna start over with, thre um, with uh, re-threading the machine, I'm just gonna go up here and I'm just gonna clip everything, okay? Clipped everything in there. I'm gonna raise my presser foot. I'm gonna grab the threads from here. I'm gonna pull them forward. I'm gonna grab the threads from the needles and just pull it th forward. And then with your needle up, you should be able to pull, just pull those threads out the back. And here they come. Yeah, let's see. There they go. This one's stuck right there. Oop, there, perfect. So, so I'm gonna take off this maxi lock stretch and we're just gonna go back to um, just regular surgery thread. And in this, we use only two threads. So I'm gonna use overlock needle one and lower looper. So we'll put this one right here. This um, stitch uses something called the subsidiary looper, which we don't use it very often unless we're using two threads. And we're actually tricking the machine to think there's thread in the upper looper. So as we scan through the chart here, the first thing it says overlock needle one. So my needle is in overlock needle one, right? No, it's in two. So I'm gonna switch the needle. So we'll grab our screwdriver here. You just grab onto the needle. You're gonna loosen this screw. You don't have to retighten that screw. There's a safety there so it stays right where it's supposed to. And then you can just move that screw right over, move it straight up, and then make sure that's seated in there nice. Give that a twist and it'll tighten that up. So that's tightened up there. And then we are going to set our length to, it's between a two and a four. So I'm gonna put it on three. And then our width, three, oh, no, we're over here, 7.5. So that's right there, 7.5. Stitch selector A, overlock selector, we want that in overlock. Now this is our subsidiary looper. It's this um, black piece of metal here that's attached to the upper looper. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pull that to the right, swing it over, and it's gonna go right into our upper looper right there. So I'm gonna do it again. So to undo it, pull it to the left, swing it over. To engage it, you pull it to the right, and then just swing it over and it goes right in place. So I think we're ready to set it up for the threading. So we are going to engage our machine down to threading. So you just turn that down. You're gonna turn that hand wheel until you hear it locks. And with this stitch, the upper, the lower looper is gonna go in this far right slot. Now this, these machines have an automatic thread delivery system. And that's just a fancy way of saying that you don't have to worry about tension. You just, uh, you just put whatever thread in you like and uh, it'll always work for you. So this one's gonna go in the lower looper. Just put that down in there. And then that's gonna come out our lower looper. This thread up front to be right. And up front to your left. So with it being National Surgery Month, we have uh, specials on the Baby Lock Triumph that uh, a rebate from Baby Lock. So there's a $500 rebate 
And then there's also a $200, $250 Gloria Horn rebate. And uh, we, hide, we hide our money in our machine. So there's our $250 Gloria bucks that comes with the machine just to the end of April. And then $500 Baby Luck rebate. And we submit that for you. So close that back up. And then here's our Overlock Needle 1. This one's going to go in the second slot over here. We're going to come straight down over just up and over there and then there's a thread guide above the needle put that in there so i'm going to go ahead and lower the foot you don't need a bunch of thread to go through the eye of the needle you just need about a length of the machine so just cut it off right there you're going to engage your needle threader you're going to take that thread and you're just going to hold it right down by the eye of the needle And it just sucks it through, and then there's our needle threaded. So that's just going to go out the back of the machine. So we're threaded. Our two threads are threaded. Everything's set up so we can go ahead and see what this stitch looks like. So I'm going to close our uh, overlock table. This is that new table with the, the slot here that the cuttings can fall down in. So you have the platform. We're going to go back to surging. And let's see here. So I have some fabric here. Yes, I, uh, it's under all my money. And, uh, ooh, I'm gonna take up foot control. like a test sew off but looks that this just looks perfect and you're going to wonder about this stitch so that's the inside let's see what it looks like on the outside so i'm going to go ahead and turn this and just pull this this way and this is my favorite part is you get that look at that wow that is a flat lock stitch so when you feel it you can feel how flat that stitch is here pj feel how flat that stitch is Really flat. Super flat. It's so really flat. the the fabric kind of goes like this. So when you pull on it, there's no gapping where the fabric comes together, and then you get that kind of decorative look. So if you want that on this pair of side of pair of pants like that, I'm gonna do it one more time because the satisfaction is pulling those threads <laughs> and having them exposed like that. So we're gonna do this again. There's been some comments about the price in the bubble. They want to know the... if they need to call you or if that's the price. That's the price, but you can call too. And because uh, we can talk about a bun bundle and stuff like that too, but you can you can purchase it through the app uh, and and um, and get it that way, and we'll add the credit to your account and submit the rebate, or you can give me a call um, and we can talk about it too. So. so if you're interested in in the the serger, now's a, a really nice time because it would be in. National Surger Month, this special. So here, I'm going to just pull that open. It's so satisfying. It, it really is. So really a neat stitch. Two thread, flat lock wide. It gives you that pulled stitch there. And there's other variations of the two th or the flat lock. There's a three thread flat lock, but this is the this is the two thread version. And I like to use this one just to show you guys about that subsidiary looper and what that means uh, in our on our machines now. When you go back to uh, threading the machine again to set it up for a different stitch, just remember that's engaged and you want to undo that when you go to set it up for say your fourth thread overlock or your thread's not going to go through there and you're going to wonder what's going on. So just remember that's engaged there. But this is our two thread flat lock wide, um, one of my favorite stitches. So uh, if you want to learn more about the Triumph uh, or any of our sergers, you can give us a call and I'd be happy to talk to you about it. Um, but uh, Happy National Surgery Month. So. National Surgery Month. <laughs> that was fantastic. Thank Thanks, you. Steve. Yep. I may need a price on one. I need to upgrade my surgery. We can we can do that. <laughs> yep. Especially since it's National Surgery Month, right guys? So, 
Um, all right, so it is a um, little after 2.30, and we are um, starting another show at 3. So I have a feeling PJ would really love to have a hot second in between the two shows. So um, for next week, I would love to see you work on your lining, uh, get your zipper in. Um, the next step I was going to do uh, was with K, so it's the other pocket. These are going to be the folded pockets, So um, and that will finish the one side of the lining. So I'm going to go ahead, and Steve's pointing out something. We're going to talk about that in just a second. I'm going to finish this real yep. quick, if he doesn't mind. Um, so if you can, try and get a little further ahead. We're going to try and go a little bit faster next week. I know this week I was distracted with doing the Big Club and talking about Lawrence stuff and London, and so we should be able to get kind of a lot more done next week. Just a quick refresh on the Beg Club, because um, I know a couple people came in later and asked about it. So the Beg Club is um, it's going to be ready to be shipped uh, the first Tuesday of May. I think it's like May 7th-ish. And so the, there will be about $200 worth of product in there. What will be in there for sure as of now is going to be um, a book with about a dozen patterns in it. Currently, it's on trend. It's really cool and fun. I've made a couple things from there already, and I am in love with it. It's so fun. Um, and then you'll get, there's going to be another paper pattern. There's going to be a exclusive pattern that I'm designing uh, based on some different things that I showed you that I saw in London. So again, it'll be on trend. Um, they, it will include materials to make at least one item from the book. It will include the materials to make the paper pattern that we're going to have for another bag. And it will also include the materials for the bag that I designed. So all of that will be in there, plus, of course, some surprises. And so um, it is really fantastic. We're really excited about it. And so, um, but it for right now, if you if you want to like jump on ahead of time, and I know some of you want it to don't want to do a mystery, so it's a bit of a mystery right now. Uh, we have a special price that Steve allowed me to do of one nineteen eighty eight, and uh, so thank you, Steve. Wow. Woohoo! Wow. <laughs> and um, but that will that will go up. So once that mystery is over, it'll be going back up to to more of its regular price. So um, so no pressure or anything. If you want to wait and see what they're going to be, I get it. That will will not happen until after that May date though. And so don't wait, don't wait. Don't because wait. the other thing is if you're getting it ahead of time and we can only get so many patterns, cause we know that happens. Uh, if you pre-order and you, and you're doing it, then you're definitely getting it. If you wait, you might get it. So, um, you know, or we may have to substitute materials or something if you wait. So, um, that is the bag club. If you have other questions, feel free to throw them in there. Like I said, if you have, um, you know, something on your wish list that you maybe saw in my pictures today, feel free to comment on that as well. I will be looking at that. I have a couple sketches already of a couple different designs that I, I'm thinking of. So um, that's coming in, say, someone coming in to say hello. So anyway, that's, that's the bag club. So thank you everyone for being here today. Uh, we'll continue working on Morgan next week. It's probably gonna take us a couple more weeks to get it finished. And here comes Steve with some so exciting news. We have our event coming up this fall. Uh, and we've talked about it before, but figured it just uh, we might as well just mention again in case anyone hasn't signed up yet. But October 15th and 16th and October 17th and 18th, we're having a two day sewing event um, at the Crown Plaza here in Pittsburgh, just not far from the shop. Um, so you, you you have to be there. It's it's a must. So yes. um, and, uh, sign up. I, like I should get sign your, up. Get your spot. I know. I'm, gonna, I'm signing up. <laughs> Maybe for the, I can sneak in. The lady, the, um, the what is it? The bag lady club i'm doing bag lady club i'm doing the event i'm doing it all so um right. we'll just uh, uh sign up but it's we're gonna have top of the line uh embroidery machines we're gonna have projects that uh designed for you guys and uh, it'll be a lot of fun so plus we have snacks and we feed you and do lunch and everything well so. in that time of year it's gonna be yeah. beautiful because you'll will. you'll get to see all the the changing of the leaves and hi we got a visitor <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no, I think that'll be really fantastic. So and get yourself so. signed up, and we'll uh, we'll treat you a nice two two days with us here at uh, in Pittsburgh. So wonderful. Well, thank you, Steve. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks everyone. I think uh, three o'clock, Joni will be here, right? Yes, we'll be back All at right. three o'clock. Joni has a tote bag she's working on, mm -hmm. uh, and she's going to work with that. So it's definitely bag day. We'll see you soon. <laughs> All right, bye everyone. Thanks, everyone. See you next week. <laughs>